Hey, Aloha, Aloha, and welcome back to High Now Daily. We're back here in the High Now Kitchen. We've got Taran with us, the Commander in B from Tex <laughs> 808. Now, earlier in the show, we went ahead, we, we trimmed the brisket down. Yep. We got that thing all seasoned. So now after that thing spends, what, 14 hours? Yep, 12 to 14 hours in the smoker. So This takes like us here, right? Yep. Step two. Yep, so we're, yeah, now we have some chopped brisket. So we're the next day. So this, like, I, like I mentioned before, it's a long process. <laughs> it is uh, a labor of love, this Texas chili. Yes, sir. So, so I, I'm going to go ahead and just get a little butter in our pot here and we're gonna just start adding ingredients okay and butter the base of all good things eh? just yeah just a, just a little bit okay they got some peppers and onions okay and I'm gonna dice some more for us okay so we have uh, butter pepper onion working in there right now yes sir yep this and looks like bell pepper over yep here. so we just got bell peppers some some red onions a uh, little Fresno chilies and so I mean I would say the first thing that a lot of people will differ with with their chili is what kind of chilies they're putting in there. Mm -hmm. Some people want to go with some of the hotter chilies. Some people want to go more of the sweeter route. Um, so I mean, there's all, there's a lot of variety that you can do to it. Uh, we like to use most often is our is some chipotles, Ooh, and so yeah. that gives it that kind of just accentuates the smokiness that goes along with our, with the barbecue and all the smoked meat. Um, so I have some Fresno here. I also have some chipotles that I'll that I'll throw in there as well. And then I see on the Fresnos, you actually there's some seeds in there too, right? We're yep. gonna leave a couple of the seeds in. We're just gonna kind of kick it up a notch? Just a little, just yeah. a little. In the grand scheme of things, we got a lot of ingredients, so it's not, it won't be too, too bad, but, gotcha, there's but a it's lot gotta, yeah, you gotta have some spice. <laughs> okay, so where did your roots from uh, from cooking come from? How did you uh, get involved with uh, Tex 808 and get to do what you're doing now? Good question. I mean, well, so, I mean, I've been with, with Teddy's and then Tex for, for quite a while, since 09, so I, I just, I started off working in the kitchens with the teams and kind of worked my way up. Um, my family... I can tell, not a lot of people can be doing the talking and the dicing and the slicing. <laughs> yeah. Professional. <laughs> my my, uh, my family uh, always did a lot of cooking. My dad did a lot of cooking. So, you know, family, yep. You yep. talk, you talk, you cook. You hope you don't <laughs> cut anything off and keep moving along. <laughs> okay, awesome. So we have the onions all chopped up, yep. bell peppers done, and the Fresno chilies. Yep. All that's going straight into the pot? You got it. So we're just going to go ahead and dump all this in there. And so what heat are we working in? Uh, right now I have it at a, at a low heat just to get these going. And we're just, we're just trying to cook these off a little bit, and then we're going to start adding like, plenty of other ingredients. Gotcha, so, so we're just going to kind of sweat down. And then when you're uh, selecting what brisket you're going to use for the chili, are you what's that? Are you trimming again, or are you kind of just going for the meatiest, best-looking Yeah, pizza? Yeah, we're just, we're just kind of using, it, it doesn't really necessarily matter as far as which pieces you like to use. Um, there is a, you know, a fattier side and a leaner side, so we tend to use a fattier side more often just because that just lets it to continue to render and it fa flavor. I can't <laughs> right? love it. Yep, so we got we got that in there. We're just going to cook those for a little bit. Also, everything's bigger at Tex 808. Are we seeing the, the whisk, yeah. the pot that yeah. we're working with? We had a 15-pound brisket on yeah. this table. And sad to admit, this is this is enough. This is only like a half portion. It's so. only a half portion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so we got that in there. We're gonna start adding some. We got some some of the minced garlic. Okay. Oof. And here now we, things are gonna be smelling real good. And in then here. some some. Here's our some of our chipotle. Okay. So we chipotle get, goes in. Yep. We get that in there and start giving it a cook. I, I did turn up the heat now so we can kind of start to cook off some of those ingredients. Okay, and then when does the start of the show get added? In that's, that's next. That's next. Yep, so we're gonna add that in there and we're gonna start adding some of our seasonings. Ooh, look at that, Shay. You can see kind of everything kind of coming together. It's sweating it down with the veggies and everything that's in there. Now it's time so for the brisket. So here we go, we got a couple pounds of brisket. Throw it right in there. Okay, love it. So, how do you guys serve it um, at Texas uh, at the restaurant? You can get it as a side, but as you can far as the, the chili, yeah. Yep. So you can get a, you can get a bowl of chili with rice. Uh, really, the, I think probably one of the more popular ones that that's my go-to is chili with some of our creamy uh, white cheddar mac and cheese. Yeah, that's that's a winner. <laughs> the cream, you get the creaminess with the smoky chili. Yeah, that's a good one. And then of course, uh, what I'll show you uh, is our chili dog, which is a monster. Okay, I can't <laughs> wait for that. So stay with us over here on High Now Daily. We're not done with Tehran and the Commander in Beef just yet. You're watching High Now Daily coming up after the break in the show. We're going to get a chance to sample. Stay with us. Ono Grinds are on the way. We'll be right back. And then all of it just, boom. Yep.